No, I dig that. But all right, so four years of pissing your wife up. Say no. Four <laughs> years of wearing your brand and doing the work thing yeah. in between. What is your vision for God of Guns? We got 28 states, right? Oh, mm-hmm. that's cities. 28 cities. 28 states. states. 28 states, yeah. which is phenomenal in itself in four years. Like, that's Appreciate just that. amazing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. what does that tell you is possible for the future that you probably wasn't thinking of in the beginning? Well, it, it tells me that I can reach more people, right? I mean, the, the, the problem is, like, the marketing. You know, I've tried the market before, and then I've, my account will get flagged because guns is promoting violence. And it's just like... It's what not category promote- do you put it in? Because it's God and God. No, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, Y'all so, put in comedy? Like, where do you put it where nobody's going to bother it? I, honestly, I don't know. Satire? Yeah, I, listen, <laughs> I, I try to follow along. I've hired people to help me. And it's just it just doesn't work. So it's just kind of like, I don't know how to get it out to more people. However, I'm learning that the influencer game is a little heavy right now. Mm-hmm. So you got to reach out to folks and everything costs. You know, I'm I'm learning that everything costs, yo. You know, but just to get back to your question, so I can stay no, you good, go ahead. on point. Mm-hmm. It tells me that I can be even bigger. For one, I know that the people that hear the story, they're they're touched by it, they're impacted by mm-hmm. you know my experience. I bought a hoodie as soon as he got off stage. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and a lot of people can either relate to the story. I've had people come up to me and tell me like, yo. I was you. Mm-hmm. You know, the one dude talked about his homies driving the car down the street. The window is down and he's pulling the trigger, but the gun jam. Mm-hmm. He's like, and literally the next block over was uh, like two two, two, two or cars. three cop cars mm-hmm. sitting right there. And he's like, man, I could have been in jail for the rest of my life. I've been on a mission. We rolled past the corner. Ten motherfuckers out there. We spun the block. Corner empty. Mm. Saved my life. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gotta go to no detail, but we spun the block. Yeah, and nobody was. It was like the most craziest. Like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so people, people can relate, man. It might not be that they lost, they pop. It could have just been about a choice. Mm-hmm. You know, being in a certain situation, or a moment when you could have had them fifteen seconds go wrong. Exactly. You know, so I know that I'm touching some folks. I'm just not touching enough. I know I'm not reaching. Let me not say touching. Well, you know, I, I know I'm not reaching enough folks. I heard that. You know, but the fact that I'm in 28 states so far, like I sold something in like Wyoming, and it's just like, well, who's out there? I don't even know anyone out there, but they out there, man. Technically, Ohio. they know you now. Yeah, very true. Technically, they know you. You know, when it was on the West Coast, I did a happy dance. I can't dance to save my life, but man. When I see something, I was crit walking. <laughs> you know, for that LA cell, I might have. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I mean, so to make it to the West Coast is kind of like, yo, that's amazing. Like, like this is dope. You know, I've been on on several podcasts, several, you know, shows, or where I was able to tell my story, meet mm-hmm. a bunch of people. But I just know that I can do more. Mm-hmm. You know, um, after taking that break or while taking the break. Kind of just open my eyes to what else it is that I may want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I talked to you about just getting into like like filming or just like being a drone operator. Mm-hmm. But I want to take it a little further. You know, God of Guns is about choices and helping people go in the right direction, mm-hmm. right? And staying out of the BS. So I'm connected with my brother Slice. I mean, I know you interviewed my Slice. My guy. Yeah. So Maximus. So Slice is going to connect me with these kids at like the camp, like the recreation camps in the summer. Awesome. Teach the kids how to fly drones, nice. you know, keep them out of the way. Nice. nice. You know, nice. maybe at the end of the program, hopefully I get a grant by then where I can gift the kids, you know, a drone. It ain't got to be one of the crazy drones like no, I have. No, but something that's worth just a something. good starter joint, like a, like a, like a used car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a nice little start out joint. A beat up car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I do have that vision, man. Just I've been able to talk to the kids on multiple occasions shout out to the people that put me on mm-hmm. in those positions about media and podcasting and yeah. stuff and you're gonna have a ball you're gonna have a ball bro this is as much as they like to talk about our kids when we get around them yeah this is a different story bro you know yeah, why he like that you yeah, know what the i people mean people that talk about them they're so removed you know from reality they're telling on themselves yeah they're telling on themselves and it's frustrating trust me there's some cases out here that's like yo that young boy I just don't like his energy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But that's just I mean, out of out of ten people, somebody ain't it's it's not an age thing. Yeah. Everybody got true. shit going on. We all do. You know what we I mean? Do. Everybody some days you might love my energy. It might be that one day that you like, I don't know who was up with him that day. Yeah. 
my bad. You know? Yeah. But like you can't we can't we can't give up on the kids. So I'm glad that you're gonna be doing that because that's exactly what they need. Yeah. It's technology based. It's something that they could probably maybe get Christmas gift for them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know how to do it. Can you get me one? Like, yeah, but even if they decent. don't, I mean, even if it's not the drone thing, like, um, so God of Guns, I have God of Guns, obviously, for adults. Um, I mean, I have shirts for kids that say God of Guns on it, but I really don't like to see kids wearing God of Guns. So, my youngest son, Jaden, he has uh, cool kids, mm -hmm. you know, and I promote that on the, the website. Cool mm -hmm. kids, just a picture of a kid, and under it, it's a cool kid, right? Right, um. Design and it's, just, it's just basically yeah my, my son he kind of he gave me the idea and he drew a picture because he, mm -hmm. he likes to draw nice i had somebody print it up they kind of like put their own spin on it mm -hmm. but we got the design mm -hmm. you know so now we've done a couple of photo shoots nice and last summer we did the uh cool kids commercial i saw the photo and, shoot yeah the photo shoot came shoot. out photo really nice yeah. you know and um we did the commercial mm -hmm. and it took took what like four people from philly like four kids from philly and their parents mm -hmm. put them in the commercial mm -hmm. with Jaden and a couple of his friends as well and that's that's what i want to do like moving forward like nice. pull them off the streets and put them in like film whether it's in the films they can m might be able to be my my drone operators for the commercial yep you know but just Absolutely. just to get people involved one way or another the more the more steps you take in whatever direction, the more things you'll be able to open up for other people. So, if you perfecting that that skill, then you'll be able to hand it to somebody else. And yeah. Then you gonna figure out something else, and you gonna hand that down. Like it's it's all relative. Yeah, just gotta take the <clears throat> small steps, man. You know, I, I think back to when I first started, got a guns, and somebody would ask me like, "Well, what is it about?" And I just fumbled over my words. You, you know, had your elevators pitched together. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> and I didn't get it together really. Until I started doing the gun shows. The gun shows is probably outside of Edon, uh, Tabernacle Church, where, mm -hmm. where I was able to speak. Uptown. And Reverend Wilder, uh, Reverend Wilder wore my shirt during his sermon. Shout out Reverend Wilder, man. Yeah. He made a lot of people from my neighborhood go to church. Yeah. They they love Pastor Wilder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, nice guy, you know. So he, he wore the shirt during the sermon and let me um, tell my story and then set up. That was probably one of the, the bigger... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Hold on. See, I don't know if y'all know about E9. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. E9, huge, E9 right? is one of the... It's a stadium. It's, I was just about to say that. It is an entire stadium of a church. Yeah. And the facility has facilities. Yeah. So, you spoke during the Pastor Wilder yeah, yeah, yeah. sermon. So, Pastor Wilder, he Oh, he that's started, a blessing, bro. Yeah, he started speaking. I mean, he was wearing the God of Guns, and it's not the first time that that's he That's like it. opening up for money bag. Yo, you supposed to pay $4,500. It's not... Yeah. My bad. <laughs> But yeah, he wore the shirt during his sermon, awesome. uh, and then he stopped in the middle and he told them like, "Hey, I have uh, a guest with me. Mm -hmm. I met this young guy uh, somewhere, and then he didn't say exactly where he met me. You know, he brought me up, <laughs> he brought me up to talk, um, told my story, and then he went back up and he said, you know, so I was at the gun show, and so he you told his story. literally gave a testimony though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what you told me was a testimony. Yeah, and that's exactly what I told the church. Exactly. You know, and Reverend Wilder, afterwards, he got up, man, and he says, you know, I met this young guy at the gun show. Mm -hmm. He said, and you know, if, that's why they like yeah, him. Yeah, he said, and if you know anything about the gun show, you know that it's not a lot of people there representing God. He's like, and the fact that this young man was there with this God that's or heavy. gun shirt being bold as he was. You know, um, he said I had the support. You was better off with a Confederate flag on your shirt. 